Here is a practice that I do multiple times a day that has made a profound difference in the attitude that I bring to my work. It's called the energy the, it's called the energy reboot technique and I'm going to do it for you here. It only takes about 30 seconds and then I'll talk you through it, okay? So here's how it goes. I place my hands to my heart and I breathe in love. And I breathe out total security. I breathe in guidance. I breathe out thank you. I breathe in joy. And I breathe out love and gratitude for the next task that I am doing. So let me talk you through this. First of all, I encourage you to take this practice and modify it to your values and your beliefs. You can switch out the words that I said and put in your own words instead that make more meaning to you because it has to be a meaningful practice to you if you're going to be doing it frequently. And frequency is also extremely important. This is not something that you do once a day in the morning or in the evening. This has got to be something that you bring to every hour of your working day. I mean, as you could see, it only took 30 seconds, right? So I actually do this practice whenever I catch myself being less than positive. Whenever I catch myself feeling fear, feeling doubt, feeling uncertainty, whenever I catch myself frustrated or confused or any other negative feeling, if I catch myself in that, immediately come back and I do this energy reboot practice. And like I said, it reboots my energy. Okay, So let me talk you through what I mean by these words and why they're meaningful to me. And like I said, you've got to choose words that mean something to you. So the first breath is breathing in love and breathing out total security. What does that mean? Breathing in love, I literally believe that this universe is made of love. And scientists have not been able to have fine enough, fine enough instruments to sense that yet. But one day, maybe 100 years from now, science will be able to finally understand that the smallest particle is not a quark or whatever they call it. But the smallest particle and the smallest, you know, the most fine wave is love. They, they, they'll say, we don't know how, what it means, but it's love. And it connects us all. And it, anyway, so that's what I believe. The universe is literally made of love, that God is everywhere. And when I breathe in, I literally am breathing in molecules of love. And I'm connected to uh, the, the greatest source of love at every single sec millisecond of every single day in my entire life. So that when I breathe in, I remind myself of that, breathing in love. And when I breathe out, I breathe out total security as a reminder that no matter what I do, I cannot screw up the fact that the destiny of my soul is completely secure. And I believe the destiny of your soul is as well. There is nothing you can do to screw that up. It is secure for you. So you are on a path of inevitable, an inevitable path towards ultimate bliss complete knowledge, complete love and power and creativity. And you cannot screw that up no matter what mistakes you make, no matter what errors of judgment, errors of action, errors of habits. doesn't matter if you keep going back to bad habits. doesn't matter. You are on that path no matter what. You will be guided along that path. So the second breath that I breathe in is guidance because guidance, I believe, is available to us 24-7 at all times. And I breathe that in, but, but we just have to be open to it, right? We're usually not open to it, but we just breathe that in guidance. And then I breathe out, thank you, because that is a natural response to love and guidance being available to us at, at, all, at all times. And then the third and final breath, I breathe in joy, because that is also the natural response to a life and a universe that is made up of love and wisdom that is available to us at all times. So I breathe in joy. And then finally, I breathe out love and gratitude into the next task that I do. So whatever it is that I'm doing, what, no matter if it's a fun task that I'm doing or a boring task or a frustrating task or a, confusion, a confusing task, 
I can still breathe in, breathe out love and security, love and gratitude into that task and say, thank you for the opportunity to do this thing that other people don't have the opportunity to do. Thank you for the opportunity to practice being a better person in whatever task that I'm doing, because I believe that whatever you are doing is not that the point of the task is not to finish the task. It's not to finish this email. It's not to finish this video. It's not to uh, finish doing your bookkeeping. It's not to finish anything. The point of the task is to become a better person as you are doing the task. It's a practice of spiritual growth in that very moment. We have that opportunity every single second. And so when I breathe out love and gratitude, I breathe that opportunity. I breathe out thanks for that opportunity. I breathe out, I get to do this thing, whatever it is I'm doing. So I hope that this is helpful, and I'll end this video again with doing this three-breath energy reboot practice. Here we go. Breathe in love. Breathe out total security. Breathe in guidance. Breathe out thank you. Breathe in joy. Breathe out love and gratitude for the very next task. I hope you will do this practice multiple times a day. This has changed my life, changed my business, and I hope it does the same thing for yours. Take care.